Yo, what's going on guys, Flames in here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on Veracity or VRA. Before we get into it, if you could do the like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. And also if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description below, it's just general crypto discussion and I'll be telling you when I make different trades and stuff. So yeah, just sit back and enjoy. So starting off here on coin market cap, we will refresh. And um, we've got a 36k Bitcoin, we're up 1% on that. Ethereum's at around 2400, so the market's still pretty much just ranging in a sideways motion. We're chilling. There's nothing to be worried about. We had a huge, huge impulse up with obviously Bitcoin and then all the else followed and then everything's due a healthy correction and then maybe a bit of a consolidation uh, in between that like 30 to 40K range. Hopefully we can break out of that soon, get above 42K and then start continuing on to new all-time highs with Bitcoin and with other alts as well. So we will come over here and we will look at Veracity or VRA. Sitting at rank number 406 with a market cap of 56 and a half million. It's sitting at one and a half cents. We're down like half a percent today. Uh, our circulating supply is 3.87 billion. Uh, the max supply is actually 2.3 billion. So we've got 37% of our uh, supply out right now. If we come down here, our all time highs are around or something I think oh it's five and a half cents uh, that was two months ago and we're down 73% since then that was on April 17th if you don't actually know what VRA is a veracity is a protocol on product layer platform for esports and video entertainment veracity's mission is to significantly increase advertising revenues for video publishers on any video platform through its rewarded layer and ad stack utilizing its patented protocol layer on the blockchain proof of view POV is the only protocol layer patented technology for blockchain. And then there's the USA patent there. Uh, Veracity makes revenues from its use case esports fight club tournament platform with subscriptions, commissions, prize pools, video ad revenues, and transaction fees. It will roll out its B2B product later in 2021. So pretty much this is just pretty much hopping on the, the bandwagon off like content creators and different things like that. Um, like gaming is huge and they've obviously gathered this information and they're taking complete advantage of it. Like esports is a huge growing industry. The video entertainment is as well. Like YouTube's popping off. Like everything's just growing exponentially. And I think this is a great way to sort of help creators. And then obviously the creators are going to be advertising the product and that'll obviously help with price action as well. So if we come up here, I will move over to markets and show you where you can get yourself some. Uh, Bitthumb, KuCoin, Gate.io, Uniswap, Bittrex, uh, Bitmax. Just stick to the high confidence exchange ones and you'll be chilling. If we come up and go over to TradingView, I will do some price analysis and I'll also give you some price prediction as well. So we will come back here and we will move back to well actually let's have a look at this here so we move from 0.1 cents impulse the whole way up to five and a half cents we obviously retraced back down to this 2.6 couldn't hold it lost that as support came down now we're actually what we have for support right now we've got we've got that line of support there at around where we're at right now we're just below it at around that 14 cents mark but we are above this 200 day moving average, holding it as support. We've obviously rejected off this 100 twice, trying to regain it as support. We haven't visited the 300 yet, but hopefully we can hold this 200 and get back above the 100 and the 50 and flip them all the support. And we'll get ourselves moving back above these all time highs here. Um, if you were looking to pick yourself up some, I will run a fib on this daily chart here, actually, just for a macro trend here. Obviously, as you can see, for the for the Feb levels, um, we've crashed through this 382, the 0 0.5, and the 618. We've rejected off the 618, trying to regain it as support, but obviously we haven't been able to. Uh, the 786 has thankfully held us at around that 12.5 cents mark, so I would be putting your buy order in for around this 12.5 cents mark. So if you've got those buy orders in for 12.5 cents, you could also take a look at sort of a closer move or a more recent move a more recent micro move and we could even take this bottom here to this top and see where we're at in this fib 
So same thing again, really. We've lost the 382, we lost the 0 0.5, and we've lost the 618 as support as well. The 786 thankfully has held us again, and now we're ranging in between the 618 and the 786. Um, once again, I'd probably just stick your buy orders in for this 12.8 mark, coming back to retest this support, which is pretty similar to that 12 and a half that I showed you on the daily chart as well. If you are working in Bitcoin, I will get the BTC pair up here and show you where you can pick yourself up some. So VRA, BTC, pretty much same story. I'll move back to the daily here, see what we have. So this is old TNA that I have drawn up here and we obviously lost the 618 as support there. I'm once again back to the 786. So I would be putting your buyers in for around this 37.20 side area. If we go back to a lower time frame and we run it from here as well, this bottom to the top, it's probably going to be the same around that 786. Yeah. I would be p placing your buy orders in for just around this area here. Around the 786 mark. You could range it from around that 4,000 SAT area down to around 3,500 SATs. Let's move back to the USDT pair and I will give you a price prediction. So we will move back to the daily and we can use our FIB extensions for this. So we go from the top of the move to the bottom. And as you can see here, it's just a flip where the 236 is holding us up here. But if we look on up here at FIB extensions, you can see that this 1.618 here is sitting at around that nine cents mark. There's no doubt in my mind that we're gonna hit that. That's under double our all time high and it's happening. It's definitely happening in this cycle as well. If we keep coming up here, I could honestly, like I could definitely be seeing even more than this 5.618. If you come back here, you can see that the market cap for this is only 57 million. Like that's fuck all. Like a 10X to 15 cents, right? We're still at a $500 million market cap. Well, nearly 600 million, but halfway to a billion, the top 100 alts had a billion market cap at a point. Obviously, we've, we've bled a little and money's flown out, but it'll flow back in. And like, if you don't think that VRA can hit top 100 cryptos, I don't know what's wrong with you, to be honest. Like, this shit's going far. They're doing things right, and I love to see it. I could definitely see us even like, even pushing on up to around 50 cents mark. Like, what would that be? About a one and a half billion market cap? maybe maybe less than that a little i could definitely see that happening and if you don't just go and look at the fundamentals of this and just look at the industries that they're getting into and just think of all the sort of promotion that they can get off it so i'm going to put a price prediction out there of around 50 cents for this cycle we'll definitely be pushing above this 5.618 it's a pretty small market cap coin so it's a lot easier to move the price I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. I love you all. Peace.